Hello guys, so in today's tutorial, we're going to be recreating this map animation from Caspian Report. And looking at the video from Caspian Report, you will notice that this map animation was probably done with a premium plugin like GeoLayers. But for this tutorial, we're going to be using a free vector map. Actually, the same map I used in my previous video or my previous tutorial. If you haven't seen that, please, I'll be linking that in the description below or you'll find it in the corner here. So make sure you watch that to see how I went about in breaking down some of the layers and distributing them. So for this tutorial, you can see in Adobe Illustrator that I have separated the countries that I'll be using for this tutorial. You can see the 114 countries that I just labeled as country 1, 2, and 3. So here they are. So I'm just going to toggle all of them in and send them in. So this will be a fast tutorial. So let's get into it. And if you're yet to subscribe, please do subscribe and follow my channel so you can get more videos like this. I need to help my channels. And all of the project files and assets will be in the description for you to download for free as usual. So thank you and see you in After Effects. So inside of After Effects, I'll create a new composition 1920 by 1080. Then import my map. Import it as a composition, leaving it as layer size and click OK. Then drag this composition into my timeline like this as you can see here then i'm going to go into this composition and here you can see my 14 countries still aligned as i want them to be but first i'm going to select everything everything here then make click on continuous rasterization and click on and make them all 3d but before i go further i'm going to delete this background i don't need it if you want it you can keep it in your own project so after that I'm going to click on this one, hold shift, then go to my frontend country, then right click and go down to create and create shapes from vector layer. So depending on your system, this might take a while, but it will create shapes, the same exact country, the same place as a shape layer. And this is what you have here. I'm just going to click one of these. So next i'm going to close down all my i'm going to bring up all my normal layers click to because when you create shapes it turns off the other layer so you just bring them up and also i'm going to shy these layers these adobe illustrator layers i'm going to shy them because we won't need them for this tutorials again So once you're done with that, you're left with all of the shape layers you created in After Effects. Click on the first one, then hold shift and click on the last one. Then I'm going to go to this color icon here, this fill here, and make it whichever color you want. So I'm just going to make it kind of blue and I'll click OK. So I'm going to press P on the keyboard. Then maybe go two seconds and some, and some frames forward, then set the keyframe. Then go back to the beginning of my timeline here. Then this Z position here, I'm just going to go for the bit, maybe around 30. So I'm just going to go back to my main comp so you can see what we have. And in the main comp, I'm going to bring up the rotation. Make sure I make this 3D and make sure I turn on continuous rasterization. Then in the S position, I'm just going to maybe elevate this like this. Around 60 should be okay, like this. Then I'm going to go back to inside the comp and increase the composition or increase the position. I'm going to increase the Z position by, let's say, up to 60 something. 66 should be okay. So it goes up more like this. You can increase it more depending on what you want. So for this, I'm just going to move them to the side. <coughs> so once you move them to the side, you can skew them or move them so that they animate differently when they come in. You can do whatever you want with this. I'm also going to tweak some of the keyframes here. So once your animation is done, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to bring in uh, a texture layer like we did in our previous tutorial. Then I'll bring this above our layer here. Then go down to toggle some switches and change the track mat to our spent layer here. Change this to Luma mat, and now you can see our texture here like this. So after that, I'm going to add a camera to this. Then it's just going to be a simple camera movement. I'm just going to add a camera, then using the Z position to zoom in a little bit. And that will be our animation. You can add other animations to make it pop out or fit into your project. But this is the tutorial. So thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and see in the other tutorials. Thank you.